And welcome to the rundown. Today is Wednesday, July 13th. It's a good day on the calendar. Uh, today's rundown is brought to us by Helix Sleep. Helix Sleep. I'm in the market for a mattress. Helix. I'm in the market for a mattress, too, actually. Ooh, I think Dave, I'm upgrading to a king. Dave, you need a bigger one? No. Uh, queen's fine. You're an idiot. Um, queen is fine for me. Um, and Helix Sleep might be the way I go. I think I I'm looking into it. They have those like little. Have you seen them? What they look like? A helix? Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I have a helix. How do you like it? I love it. Yeah. It's helix sleep, and they got a quiz that takes just two minutes for you to complete, matches your body type, and sleep preferences to the perfect mattress for you. Why would you buy a mattress made for someone else with That'd helix? Be stupid. Yeah, you're getting a mattress you know will be perfect for the way you sleep for mm. your body type, whether you're chiseled like Dave or. You know, the body of Adonis like Chief or, you know, you're a regular guy like me. They've got soft, medium, firm mattresses. Mattress is great for cooling you down. If you sleep hot, mattress is great for I'm spinal alignment sleeper. to prevent morning aches and pains. And even a Helix Plus mattress for plus size sleepers. So if you're looking for a mattress, you take the quiz, you order the mattress that you're matched to, and the mattress comes right to your door, shipped for free. You don't ever need to get, you don't ever need to go to a mattress store again, Chief. They're all over the place. You've yep. talked about that before. Here's a call to action. Helix is offering up to two hundred dollars off that's all mattress money. That's orders. A big, that's a big nut. And two, and two free pillows for our <laughs> listeners at helixsleep.com slash rundown. That's helixsleep.com slash rundown for up to two hundred dollars off and two free pillows. And that's probably the best promo code I've ever that's the best promo you I've did. ever given away. That was a nice job. That was I, a pretty know, good job. I meant more the promo, like two hundred dollars and Oh, you like it. I'm That's saying this is of the stuff I've read and had to give away over the years. You $200 like and two pillows is... <sighs> it's a lot. It's a lot. It's a shit ton. Helix sleep. Let's get into it. Helix, Pat Helix, Helix. Mattresses, mattresses, mattresses. Going to handle. Uh, Patrick Kane not leaving the Blackhawks for now. Chief, the big blog. This is leading off. I mean, this is big stuff. Yeah, I'm glad he's staying. Like, I love Patrick Kane. I want him to stay here forever. I think he's going to be good for forever. Uh, so all the Rangers fans, not Tom Lay. Tom Lay is like the only rain, rational Rangers fan that I have ever found on the internet. They're the fucking worst community on the entire internet. So you guys can all suck my dick. Uh, so I'm glad he's not going there. Apparently he's not going anywhere right now. So, uh, so yeah, I love it. Um, uh, sell a few tickets, something to watch. Cause if he's not here, they literally have nobody to watch. Like literally no, not one good player. Mm -hmm. Uh, so I'm, you know, a few moments of magic when they lose four to one, something like that. Uh, do we still have the Ice Girls? No, they so got out, they're out. They loud. got canceled. They got canceled. Are we still doing the uh, Julie DeCaro canceled? Are we still them? doing no. the fucking shoot it, the puck challenge? Uh, COVID ruined that too. I'm trying to remember if I saw it there last time I was there. I'm sure they still do that. They 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 change the format. Whatever. This isn't on the golf. This or I'm looking at the sheet. This there, isn't on the sheet. But I want to ask you this: Did you see the reporter in Carolina banging the player? No. And the fiance. The sideline reporter for the Carolina Hurricanes is allegedly banging Ian Cole. Allegedly. And I'm not going to touch that one. Okay. No, whatever. Yeah. I saw it on the internet. It could be real. It couldn't. It didn't make its way on the rundown sheet, on but we're talking about hockey like guys. Ian Cole just got a uh, million dollar con a $3 million contract from uh, the Lightning. So but good Patrick Kane still with the Blackhawks. Is, that's good news for the NHL, though. Is it? Some guys should just never wear another jersey. Doesn't Thank matter the Dave. sport. Patrick Kane's one I, of those I guys. I think he's definitely earned that right. And uh, just like Gretzky, he he played for four teams. But uh, <laughs> but yeah, I, I on the Kings. Yeah, see if you guys can name the four teams that he played for. The Kings, Kings Oilers, uh, Rangers, Rangers, and uh, wasn't the, the Islanders? Habs? Nope, no, it was not the Islanders. It was he? Did he say Kings already? He said, yeah. You guys said Kings. Oh, the Blues. The Blues. The That's Blues. Son yeah, of a bitch. yeah, yeah. yeah was, How long was he with them? Uh, not long. I think he. I think he did like a trade deadline thing. The Blues. They had that famous clip of Irishman had the uh, slapper from the blue line in overtime to went to knock out the Blues yeah. in Game Seven, and then he signed as a free agent with the Rangers. I'm and what sure. do people say about Wayne Gretzky, the great one? They always say he'd be a little bit greater if he only wore one sweater, just like Patrick Kane. Yeah. Uh, you know, 88, 99, all that. I hope he stays here. He can be Connor Bedard's winger next year. Is that why he wears eighty eight? It's his birth year. Because it is pretty cool if he was like 99 was taken. So I'm just going to work 99 has retired the whole league. No one's ever it's allowed like to wear Robinson, it. Yeah. yeah. 
No one's ever allowed to wear I mean, he's not again. like Jackie Robinson. <laughs> well, <laughs> no, I mean, I mean, he, just no one can wear it. He was just it. very good. Yeah, but he... he was. <laughs> I would say that he's probably... I mean, he's not Jackie Robinson. No one's saying that. But, like, the status of his jersey is the same. That's the only similarity. Yeah. But he did probably more for his sport than any athlete because he, he made hockey viable in the South. So after he went to L.A., you got the, the Sharks... You got the Ducks, you got the Panthers, you got the Lightning, uh, the Dallas Stars, Carolina, Nashville. None of that happens unless Gretzky proves that hockey can Live. do well in the yeah. Sun Belt. And, and that's just like the Saad father going out to Saudi Arabia and building the soccer fields. Probably. I, I guess I don't really see the analogy, but, yeah, I'll take your word for that. Grow the game, Dave. Uh, topic two, Nikhil Harry to the Bears for 2024 seventh rounder. I like the name Harry in a Bears uniform. That's just a good, solid Chicago name. And we talk about this on Redline Radio. Chief, you did the data analytics. You went into the numbers. Yep. What did you find? I went on Twitter, and I saw that someone else did the anal analytics, and that was PFF. And they said that he was the second best blocking wide receiver in the NFL. Love that. Only second to uh, Pringle. Who the Bears also signed, so they're heavy pack. They're going to go four wide receivers, but that's going to be like their goal line set. Our jumbo, I love set. it. Yeah, that's yeah. going to be. The, they're just going to block. Do you jumbo? Yeah, so we're just going to you know we'll run a little veer, a little option with Mon with Monty and uh, and Justin Fields to get those guys in space and let the big dogs on as the wide receivers do the blocking downhill. Dave, are you is, revolutionizing football? Is there an opinion? <laughs> that's what the Bears do on offense. Uh, Dave, is there an appeal to you? It'd be funny if you? they came out in the T formation like Maggie did. <laughs> like, <on that>. Yeah, <laughs> when he's wearing this stupid fucking fedora. <laughs> but it's like, no, we're serious about One that. play yeah. in a Matt Eberflus's career where we're starting the fire Eberflus chance. <laughs> no, but seriously, Dave, is there is there some sort of this where like if Nikhil Harry succeeds as a bear, where then you get to go rub it back in Boston sports, but like, will you be talking shit to, to like Jerry Thornton or something? Nah, I, I, I got no qualms with Boston sports fans right now. All my ire is directed at these greasy, greasy, disgusting Yankees fans still. But the Yankees are just fucking a machine at the moment, so I can't really talk shit because I have no shit to talk other than them being greasy and disgusting. Well, then let's tee you up with something you are an expert on. Mm -hmm. Danny Ainge has made it very clear that the Boston Celtics are open to trading for Donovan Mitchell. Yeah, can you believe that? And let me just confirm that. Why, why is Danny Ainge saying that? And... and uh, why do I even think that Danny? I'm gonna get killed he's, for this. Danny Ainge is, is not in charge of the Celtics, right? By the that's, way, that's, he's in charge of the yeah. Minnesota. Yeah, I, I a <laughs> hand up. I thought he was the Celtics guy. Nah, Shouldn't he, have Googled. It. Yeah, no, he's gone. Danny Ainge is open to training. I mean, I've seen that guy Greeny. He he talks about Trader Danny like all the time. So he talks about that for probably ten years. But yeah, I think I think Danny Ainge, uh, he's running some other team now. So basketball well, guys I mean, he's the utah you, guy he's out he's the mormon he's out in utah and he wants to trade what's his face so should we just move on to the next topic yeah we should i mean we should donovan wanna, mitchell is dynamic point, nine points he's a game. great player he's a great player i just watch. hate he wears 45 because jordan i Man. think it's kind of sweet it's like you, you it gotta be jordan no why else would he wear it who no one else wears 45 i mean what, would he wear for like ray for friends or something but maybe he wants to make 45 the number yeah, I don't know. I think it's a cool hat tip. Like, I wearing mean, 23 is fucking Wasn't that lame. the year they liberated Eagle's Nest? 45, 45 it was, yeah. Yeah, I mean, so what if he was doing a call out to the 101st? Uh, again, also sweet. <laughs> that'd, be, that'd be sweet. <laughs> what was the, uh, the nickname for the 101st? little trivia question. Screaming time. Eagles, Dave. That is he it. it. How are we doing, Screaming guys? Screaming Eagles. What, do, what about this? Let's talk about our good friends at, uh, speaking of America, and the red, white, and blue. How Hell about Myrtle man. Beach? Does it get more American? Have than you ever Myrtle been Beach? to Myrtle Beach? I have played golf there. Loved it. I uh, I had a baseball tournament there at Coastal Carolina University <laughs> when I was in high school. Myrtle Beach is a shit ton of fun, and I gotta imagine that the golf down there is fucking incredible. Did you actually play the baseball there? Yeah, we played. At I Coastal played Carolina. a tournament there yeah. in college. We, we came in second. Incredible. We came in second place, and we lost to our. I was on the seventeen U. Bull Sox came team. We lost in the championship to uh, the 18 year old team. It was two separate teams, even though we were both varsity technically. And uh, Colin Bates pitched a perfect game against us, and North Carolina signed him on the spot. Damn. Shout out Colin Bates. Colin Shout out Bates. Mick Doyle. 
if you guys are out there. What about uh, next time you go, you're going to go golfing? Yeah, so we should Absolutely. actually do this ad read. And, yeah. Yeah. And, uh, although, if you are unfamiliar with Barstool Chicago, let there be no doubt Dave and I could easily do 45 minutes on that baseball tournament. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and, and it was so much fun. We and would say it was awesome. But this is an ad read, and we are going to encourage you guys to go check out Myrtle Beach for golf. It's South Carolina. It's a golf capital of the world and home to more than 70 golf courses, Sandy White Beaches, local breweries. Hey, hey, dude and hundreds of restaurant options. Pretty much anything you could want to do, Myrtle Beach has it. Two of the courses you must visit during a trip to Myrtle Beach are Caledonia Golf and Fish Club and True Blue Golf Club. Two of the, I might have read three there. The two no, courses good. are just across the street from each other and are considered the crown jewels of Myrtle Beach. Mm, isn't that lovely? Both layouts have been named by all major publications as top 100 public golf courses in America, so there must plays in Myrtle Beach. Caledonia and True Blue are located on the southern end of Myrtle Beach in Pauly's Island along the Hammock Coast where you will experience a laid-back, friendly atmosphere where everyone is welcome. The fun doesn't stop. The fun doesn't stop once you finish your round of golf at Caledonia and True Blue. The 19th hole overlooking the 18th green at Caledonia is a must. <laughs> I don't understand what's funny. Oh, man, this is such a detailed message. The fun doesn't stop once you finish your round of golf at Caledonia and True Blue. The 19th hole overlooking the 18th green at Caledonia is a must. And with I've heard that. I've heard that. Restaurants, waterfront bars, fishing charters, and the beach all just minutes away. Your most memorable golf trip awaits you in Myrtle Beach. Come play the most popular and top-rated courses in America. Trust us on this. You won't want to leave and return back to reality. Visit CaledoniaGolfVacations.com to plan your golf trip and be sure to tell them that the Barstool guys sent you. This is just like, you know, it's, it's wedding season now. Or it's bachelor party season. Come, you know, like this is what you guys should be doing. Just go to Cat, go down to Myrtle Beach, play some golf, have a good time, fuck around. That's the place to do it, Myrtle Beach. That's America, Myrtle Beach, American place. Uh, sorry about that. That ad read, that was long. That's, that's on me. You guys want to talk shit to me? Everybody come and get it uh, i deserve it wayne rooney former captain of england soccer team is now coaching dc united under the peculiar condition that his wife says he must have a chaperone with him while in america uh dave i'm going to start with you you're a chaperone guy you should have one at all times <laughs> yeah i probably should uh i don't but i should uh did he agree to this did he acquiesce i mean he's coaching for him so i assume he is but like what the fuck like this is a guy who has been perpetually caught with his hand in the cookie jar cheating being you know yeah he's a bad boy he's a bad boy he's a bad boy he's you a think? horny boy and that's that's just the way wayne rooney is and his wife if you're choosing to stay in england which is fine that's your decision and you think he's not gonna do wayne rooney stuff it doesn't matter if he has a chaperone or not it's just like you want to find out about what he's doing from the chaperone or you want to find about uh, you know from twitter like six months after the fact can so, wayne rooney poll in the united states though fuck it, yeah. as the coach of dc you know, is that get you is that like a thing uh, those guys I, think, pussy? I, I think yeah. wayne rooney is, is a minute? big enough superstar I know and who he's he is, so he's got to. And he's making a million bucks a year. So, And he's, he's got, got a fucking ton of money. Yeah. It is so funny to me. So he was coaching Darby, who's, you know, for us. That's my, my team. team. Yeah, you're the Darby guy. Mm -hmm. That they got relegated down to League One, which is a third tier. And they got – one of the reasons they went down is they had all these financial problems. So they docked them points. And the, they docked them 21 points, which forced them to go to League One. They were bad anyways. But now – it's they found out that Wayne Rooney and his agent were paying players their salaries under the table what, during last year, which is highly illegal. Mm -hmm. So now it's looking like they might get another point deduction. With, and they don't have they don't have an owner right now because they had this deal with the American guy fell through. They're just fucked. They're going to go down to League Two, so they're going to be in like the lowest of the low of English football. So hilarious. And now he's like, oh well, I got to have a chaperone and coach for a million bucks in DC United. Wayne Rooney is is an interesting guy. Uh, it's he's just his sweet. head. He, he's his sweet. head is it's got to be the biggest head in sports. He, he made the EPL when he was sixteen. Like That's he's, fucking he's, wild. He's on like and was like a force like for Everton, I believe. Everton is when he yeah How he about broke that? through, and uh, yeah, so he's he's a stud. He'll be. I, it's nice. I feel like the MLS is having like a come up. I do too. I think the yeah. soccer bug is here. I think yeah. the EPL mornings are really starting to like weave their way into society. Big time. I like it. I, I love a, it. I have a team yeah. reveal coming. I'm sure nobody cares about, but 
If you wanted to, that'd be nice. Why don't you just say it? I don't know. I've got a thing done. I got to work on the graphic and Photoshop it. And okay. I'm going to make an announcement with the hat. Yeah, you pick the team? Yeah. Okay, you're going to I just can't do it, man. Oh, yeah, we'll talk about it. Okay. Yeah, it's a, it's it's actually a good reason why I picked the team. It's not like, oh, they're this and that. I have a good reason. Okay. Uh, much like you and Forrest. All right, topic number five. This is this is one that hits home close to home because we're all sports talk radio fanatics. We spent a lot of time calling in, asking questions. Dave, get off the message boards. That's an angry man. That was Gangster. fucking awesome. Yeah. Awesome. I, we just don't have that in Chicago. No. Like New York, New York really is the sports talk capital of the world. Where they, you know, they have number one. They got Don LaGreca. They got Michael K. And I feel like people fucking hate Michael K. But he's also like popular, and so I don't know. But that was yeah. A, we don't got shit like that. That out was here. a great rant. And LaGreca, he's one of those guys that I've. He's always been like one of the mainstream kind of hockey guys. Uh, I've never heard of him, so I was so afraid I have, to say that, but now to, that it's hockey. He used to have – well, it's not just hockey, but I would say, like, he, like he's like a sports fan just like us, except that he also pays attention to hockey. Yeah. Which I think most people don't, which is a shame. He always looks like he's mid-fart, just like Google pictures of Donald yeah. Rucka, and Each one of them is like, this guy's – But it, into it's one. an all-time rant, and I kind of feel like he, he can just go off and do a show by himself now. Did you like – I'll just call it out, bald guy here, Dave. Your hair's not too spectacular. You had to like the fact he called out the main. I did. Mm-hmm. I did. I appreciated that as someone whose hair sucks. I mean, that's just like a dig that you can just – if you're a hair guy, you can just – and there's just nothing you can do. Like, you're just like, yeah, I'm Well, I mean, bald. you can tell you to fuck off. I mean, yeah, but it's just going to the same the well over and over and over and yeah, over. Yeah, but nobody who's bald doesn't deep down wish they had hair. You wish you had a full head of hair. I wish – yeah, I would love to have like, like hockey flow, like flow, yeah. flow, just yeah. like Fabio style. Can't do it though, dude. It's never been a source of good things for me, so I am actually happy that it's fallen out because it's like well, no, it looked not. bad when it was here. No, it was just it's not a thing I worry about, dude. The most I maintain this thing is like once every two weeks I ask my wife to cut it. I'm like, you just buzz this for a second, and then after like six of those, I go to an actual barber who like sure. shapes it. Yeah, but let's say that you could have Tom Lay's hair. Tom, look at me. Tom's got Tom's got some good flow, oh, dude. He's like JTT. He's like parted down the middle a little bit now. Well, you can style it however you want. I'm talking about the foundation of that thick, lustrous hair. You can hit it. You can hit a nice soft nine iron off of that. Can you give me a little toss right now? It's feathered, feathered. Uh, yeah. Okay, fine. Let's do therapy on Carl for a second. I wish I had better hair. There you go. I know I look like a fucking bridge troll. And you look I, like a mosh pit guy. I have to do the best. <laughs> This would be the fifth program I talk about this on. I was in the mosh pit at Rage Against a Machine last night. Mm-hmm. Do you think I care about your opinions, bro? Yeah. You know, whatever. That's a joke. Uh, not the mosh pit part. Young bodybuilder gets in mid-ocean fight with veteran surfer. I don't know if you guys have seen this video. Uh, it's pretty crazy. I mean, I don't even know how this is possible. But I was playing the clip. But it's like you're. It's almost like this has to be like you can't plan it. But, like, you just – I don't know. I don't know how you do this. Like, it's so hard to swim and tread water. Like, I always feel like I'm barely I surviving to to anyway. Beach. Yeah. And then by the time you get to the beach, you're like, hey, yeah. I'm fucking exhausted. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. like yeah. let's yeah. just call it a day. Yeah. Just please don't do that again. But fighting in the ocean is – Like, like have you ever been flicking through the channels in uh, – or, like, for the Olympics or something and water, water polo? polo. Like, I would sink like a fucking stone if I played that sport. And they don't oh, do yeah. like shifts in hockey, you know. Like, oh hockey, no, they're just swimming, they're just going the whole time. I, those might and be like the most insanely good shape fit. athletes. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah, you'd have to like and them like, and like gymnasts. I think they're like gymnasts. Not I don't right. understand how you become a swimmer. We had a couple buddies that were good swimmers. I don't when you're listening. Like, Charles had like hit a the good pool. swim program, and they would go. They would like start every day at like 4 45 fucking crazy yeah like the hours and then there's no and then glory go afterwards too so yeah, yeah no, you won you're, the 100 there was meters, this one like, girl cool, that dude. was on the north central or my college's swim team that we hung out she was a few years younger i haven't talked to her since college but she had legit fucking pipes like yeah pipes. oh yeah i mean she's yeah all she's doing is putting them to yeah. work man i mean i don't think swimmers get enough Maybe 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 swimmers don't get bullied enough or do they need to get like or there's really nothing to they're bully. just it's like just their like, own weird like they're their own thing. They're their own community. Like what? they're just in the pool. Like they don't. You just swim. You just swim. They're like. How do you that, pick a stroke? 
I think I, what's a bat? I'm a backstroke. I don't. Only, I only do it on my back. I have no fucking clue. I like uh, the water, but just on my back. Yeah, <laughs> like that's a tough. I don't even like going in swimming pools because oh, getting wet I like stinks. To, I like to float. Getting wet stinks. You're out on getting wet. Yeah. What about showers get, and that's it? What about moist? That, that's a dirty word. You're a dirty. No, boy. I don't. I don't like being moist either. Uh, we were talking about fucking Helix. I I <laughs> saw that they have like some cooling technology on their mattresses. I need that because I I like You're to a night sweater. I'm a night sweater because I have this quilt that is fucking this thick and I love it, but it makes it a little hot. So when it's really hot outside, you'll take the AC down to like My, 60. It's mine's at 64. Yeah. I, but then I, in the winter time, are you taking the heat up so you can still walk around in the Wheat Morinville, so, you know, gym shorts? No. Uh, I wonder what what do I keep it at in the winter. Probably about 68, 69. I can't figure mine out. Like, I have it set, and then it always it will fluctuate, but it's set. So, it, like, last night I woke up at 63. I'm like, what the fuck's going on? That's awesome. I kind of like that, though. Yeah. That's a little chilly. It is a little chilly. It is chilly. a little chilly, but yeah. I've been doing this. I've been, I've been asking. Uh, I have, like, a, hey, Google thing in my room, and I've been asking Google to play Thunderstorms. Well, that's nice. And so, but then I'm. To, like, sleep? Yeah. Yeah, that's but awesome. But then I'll wake yeah. up, and I'm like, oh, man, a good storm. And I'm like, nope. Can I? I've been listening to this thing to fall asleep at night, and it's like a super weird hippie thing. It's called Sonic Yogi. Yeah, that's it's like right. a you know what that is? No, but talk to me. It's a thirty minute. They have like different ones, and it's like Tibetan bowls. It sounds like you're in like a, like you're getting a massage or something like that, and it's just like Tibetan bowls and Native American flutes, and you just drift off, and it's fucking great. Wow. You should try it because I bet those guys probably slept so peacefully when those sounds are naturally happening. Yeah, yeah it's just like yeah. those guys know how That's to get nice. a good night's rest. That's a little you tip know, for everybody out there. You're having a hard time turning your brain off at night. Well, Sonic Yogi. Older you get, the harder it is to sleep. Go check out Sleep Helix. We have a good yeah. two hundred dollar off to run on. Anything else for the post show? I, as far as swimming is concerned, I am look. You know, you look at properties. You get older suburbs and stuff. I you start to look at a house. Are you, if you see a house with an above ground swim pool, does that move a needle for you? Yes or no? do you see it and go, I don't want to take care of it? Or do you see it and go, that could be nice? Hot day. Above ground? Above. I don't think that adds value. I think I'd rather have the yard, the yard yeah. space. So you're saying you see an above ground, you go, oh. I just don't like doing stuff. Like, I, like my, my it's dryer, the worst. my dryer, going to be in a homeowner, is broken. So I'm wearing like yeah. this hoodie because I'm just out of t-shirts. It's and a good hoodie too. Go to the Barstool Sports. Yeah, it's a sick logo. Yeah, check it out. And um, but it's a little, it's a little warm for that. It's like 78 degrees here in Chicago today. So I'm like, well, I guess I just have to try to fix this myself because I called GE or was trying to. And they're like, yeah, like we don't have parts. We won't have them for like another month. So like I'm like on YouTube trying to figure out how to fix a dryer because I have no one to call because I bought it and it fucking it stinks. So right now above ground pool what if the what if the heater breaks yeah. you're just fucked so i think i'm out of the above ground yeah pool. i think any pool just sounds like insane amount of maintenance that you don't want to deal with which is why i would encourage you guys if, if you are in, in the mood for a respite or some or break check out myrtle beach so yeah i that's got the way to i do got it. my bathroom finally getting fixed there you go, tomorrow Dave. morning at 8 a.m anything else boys? speaking of nah. ownership not really i got nothing uh where's eddie just kidding Eddie's at the putt putt tournament something. Eddie, Tom, and I last summer did a impromptu golf putt putt golf tournament in Connecticut. Oh yeah, I think Eddie won. Yeah, Eddie I think says, I came in last. I, think, I swear to God, this is the weirdo that Eddie said that Eddie is. He said yesterday that he's like, I love putt putt. My buddies and I, we go and we gamble on it all the time for fun. For fun, responsible. Yeah, like like who's getting the pizza? After yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's not for like, like oh no yeah, money, no, not. you have to. Well, I think know. even we did like you chugged I had the milk. To buy the ice yeah, we did. Uh, we did an ice cream. Yeah, 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 we did yeah. an ice cream bet. So oh, nothing I, like a I nice old to, fashioned ice yeah, cream. It was actually a nice day. That was fun. Yeah, a very wholesome day. <laughs> wholesome day with the boys out in Connecticut, waiting for our flight. Let's play a little putt putt. Yeah, good set. This is a rundown. We'll be back next Wednesday. Subscribe to whatever this is on.